We've done a number of things, including the removal of the gas tax. Uh, we'll continue to look at things. Uh, one, one thing, we, we know we're very proud of our oil and gas industry in Alberta. As the cost of gas rises, Alberta's energy minister facing tough questions Friday on what her government is doing to try and help keep fuel affordable. But she couldn't explain what the province is doing beyond removing its fuel tax. Instead, just saying a number of things are being looked at and then attacking the federal carbon tax. Well, I think the first thing that could be done is to take a long, hard look at the federal carbon tax. Political scientist Lori Williams says the use CP government regularly deflects blame onto the feds when it comes under fire or is questioned. It seems that the hope is that people will see that part of the unaffordability of gasoline is someone else's fault and the provincial government is doing everything that it can. But that completely uh, ignores the fact that all of the money that people pay um, into the federal carbon tax comes back to them directly in, in rebates, or at least for most Albertans, that's what, what, what happens. She notes the province benefits from high oil prices and many want the government to share that wealth to account for increased cost at the pump. Removing their portion of the tax at the pump when prices are so high doesn't make a significant difference. Something like a rebate check uh, seems to be something that a lot of a lot of analysts are saying would be more effective. The NDP meantime say the UCP just isn't doing enough to provide relief when it comes to skyrocketing fuel and energy costs. It's all very well for them to say that they're thinking about it and they're talking about it and they'd like to do something about it one day, but that just fails to take into account the lived reality of Albertans who are struggling right now. In Edmonton, Safe Kaiser, City News.